can we all just take a moment to appreciate how cute my outfit is. Got my pink wig, my Hufflepuff jumper and my Hallyjukes shorts. Cute! <gasps> Harry Potter mug, really cool tea. Harry Potter background, I think you know what it is time for. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's huge. It's the Wizarding World loot crate. Before I went out in the rain, I was sporting the most spectacular Bellatrix Lestrange hair. I never realized the connection before. I never made the connection before with my really tight curly hair that I've been doing recently and Bellatrix's hair. If it was black, it would be her hair. Okay, hello, welcome back. Today, of course. Oh, hang on. It's Wizarding World Loot Crate Day. Yes. I'm very excited for this box today because <gasps> number one, it's huge. And number two, it is the theme of magical creatures. I think that was the theme. You know that if I remember the theme of a box, then I'm really excited for it. I have a prediction about this box. I reckon we're gonna get a pop figure. That was my first thought when I found out the theme. A pop figure or a plushie. One of the two and I'll be very happy. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's how excited I am. <laughs> you know I like to show you the stickers. This one is probably my favourite sticker. It's like a pocket with a little, um, oh my god, what are they called? A bow truckle? Bow truckle. It's got a little bow truckle sticking out. So I am definitely not going to ruin this sticker. So let me try and take it off very carefully. Well, I took some of the box with it, but I think I can salvage this. Oh! No, it doesn't really blend in. Oh! 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 So the inside is like a suitcase full of magical creatures, I'm sure. Well, I don't think there's a, there's not a pop figure and there's not a plushie. Oh, okay. <laughs> the first thing that is on top is a box and it says, warning, Hide shiny objects before opening. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, I think we can tell what this is gonna be. Something to do with a Niffler. Boxes. Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh. It's a little Niffler money box. It's got a slot on the back. And there's a little Niffler with a little coin. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so appropriate. He's adorable. I've got a few money banks and I'm glad to add this one to my collection. I think he's the right size. He's not too big. I'm so glad he's not damaged. He could have come damaged easily. Oh, he's so good. So that's the first thing, a little Niffler money box. He's gonna steal all my money. I'm gonna pick out the next thing that I saw, which is, oh. It's Rubius Hagrid's Magical Creatures Sticky Notes. Oh, that's cute. So you get like a Hagrid pad of sticky notes, I think, like normal size sticky notes. And then you get these tiny ones with a little fang, a little headwig, a, oh, what are they called? Yeah. What are they called? Thestral. Oh, it's a Thestral. Okay, so you have a little fang, a little headwig, a little Thestral, and a little hippogriff. The little ones, I guess, could like mark pages if you're like reading a book you could use it as a bookmark or if you're studying or something you could use them as little markers for each like section of your work or something like that mm. and he's got a little Hagrid's hut behind him on the piece of card that's nice the next thing on the pile is the pin oh I can see sh 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 I can see something shiny okay Wow, that's pretty cool. It's a Godric Gryffindor enamel pin. So it's got the basilisk, I suppose. I assume that is the basilisk. And it's got the Gryffindor sword through its head. I don't know what the purpose of the chain is, but it's cool. <gasps> I've just found out the purpose of the chain. Look at this. You can take the sword out. Oh, that's cool. So the sword has Godric Gryffindor written on it. The snake's got a little hole in his head. It's got a beautiful black mouth. This is so creative, I love it. So simple, yet such a nice feature. Ah, stab you! <laughs> that's really cool. It's my favorite thing so far. Oh, 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 we are on the last thing. One, two, three. This, we've, we've got four things in this box, it's not very much, but I'm very excited about this next thing. It is some Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Cookie cutters. You get a Niffler, 
an erumpent. Oh, I need to learn the names of all these creatures. A swooping evil and a bow truckle. Oh my god. Okay, these are cute. I love these. Can I use them to cut out sandwiches? Because I make sandwiches more than I make cookies. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm getting these out. Okay. <laughs> What was that? Oh, it does actually say Niffler within the design. So here's the Niffler. Oh, I really want to make cookies now. These would be so cute. The sw Ooh, Oh, the design's on the back as well, so you see how it actually comes out. We've got Swooping Evil. I love the colour of this one. Ooh, We've got the little bow truckle, which is also made out of his name. They're all made out of their names, but this one's really cute. He's got a little tongue. And the final one, which I love the colour of as well, is the Erumpent. This is the romantic one, I believe. <laughs> the Erumpent is the romantic one. The Erumpent. I love these. I hope I use them. I hope I actually do. Look at them. I love that and I love the colours. But I will try them with my sandwiches and I'll let you know how that goes. Right, let's give these a whirl. Which one shall we do? Hmm, I haven't got very much sandwich space. I'm thinking the Arumpant and the Bow Truckle. One with quite a lot of detail and one with a little bit less detail. I've got a cheese and cress sandwich if you're wondering and the bread is seeded so I don't know how well this is gonna work. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can press it down any further. Um, now what? Now what? Should I pull away the sides? Moment of truth. <laughs> okay, that one hasn't really worked. You can't see any of the print. It's just a flattened shape of a bow truckle sandwich. Let's try the other one. We've got to try the other one, see if it works with more print in there, more design. Pressing as hard as I can. Let's give it a firm press in. So I can see some of the print in the butt area and along the top so we've got the shape of an arumpent but not the print oh well it's worth a try <laughs> So that was the last thing. We've got a little card here. It says, to our brave Gryffindors, clever Ravenclaws, cunning Slytherins and loyal Hufflepuffs, we truly hope that you enjoy your magical creature's items. However, there is one more item missing from this crate that will be on its way to you soon. There was an unexpected manufacturing delay with the t-shirts. Oh yeah, we didn't get a t-shirt. That's interesting. So they sent it out, I guess because it was already a little bit late and they didn't want to make it any later. Oh, so we're still to get a t-shirt. I will put the t-shirt in a vlog or just in a bonus video of some sort so that you can see that still. So, I wonder if it'll be in here actually. We might see it in here. Magical creatures. This collection celebrates the many creatures and beasts that have captured our imaginations from dragons to nifflers. I bet there's a dragon on the t-shirt then because we haven't had any dragons so far. Oh yeah, there's the t-shirt. Creature silhouette t-shirt. If you want to see it now and you can't be bothered to wait for me to receive it, here it is. This enchanting tea depicts the silhouettes of some of the Wizarding World's most well-known magical creatures. How many can you identify? There's a dragon, a unicorn, oh, that, that snake for the thing, a festival, an owl, that cute little blind bug thing, a pixie, a bow truckle, a hippogriff, a creepy mermaid uh, octopus thing, which I've got the name of that cute little demi guys, a niffler, I don't know what that is, but it looks cute. Uh, oh, oh, mandrake, of course. There's some mandrakes on there as well. Nagini Horcrux pin. So that is meant to be Nagini. During the Battle of Hogwarts, Neville Longbottom killed Voldemort's serpent Nagini with the Sword of Gryffindor, destroying the final Horcrux. Celebrate this victory with the last pin in our Horcrux series. Oh, oh, it's the last one. But the way that they've stabbed the snake in the head makes it seem more like the basilisk. I still love it. That is my favorite item of all the things that we received today. Let me know what your favorite thing from this loot crate was. As always, I'm very interested to know. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'm gonna stop playing with the pin, otherwise I will be completely distracted. I hope to see you again in the next one and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.